so we are welcome back to my channel once again and the name is still early the vlogger today we are at a poultry farm and we are here to learn and also explore into poultry so we are here with a brother i would like him to introduce himself what's the name uh, lava daniel is my name a young poultry farmer in the farm is uh, located around a stretch of uh, ajikoju uh, near the bbf church yes and then the name of the farm is uh, Blimano Farms, Blimano Farms. Okay, yeah. and I would like to know why why poultry? Um, poultry is a good business. Yes, it's, 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 it's capital intensive though, but it's a good business. Um, I know. Yeah, we all see agriculture is is, is the backbone of, of of Ghana. Yes, so um, I deem it fit to, to to be part or to be a poultry farmer. I think uh, it's a good business. That's all. That's all. But there is a notion out there that uh, you know our Greek does not pay, especially in our parts of the world. So a lot of time the youths don't go into our Greek agriculture. So what actually motivated you into our Greek? Uh, okay, um, I think for what you just said, yes, it's true. It's it's it's, it's a good business. But the thing is that for the youths, um, one we, we we lack hard work. The youth don't really want to work with their hands and then they make something out of it. They just want the easy way to go and i said earlier on it is capital intensive so um, probably those who have um, um money probably they are the people who normally goes into it. not that you should have a lot of money but then you should have something to start with and then you should be determined yes and i think that that is what even motivates me you have you are supposed to be hard working and then you should have something small that you can start with. you can start on a small scale and as time goes on you plow back your profit into it and expand so I think uh, it's, it's not really um, a, a difficult job, but it's all about commitment and then it's something small you can start with it. You just have to be determined. I think that's so let's, let's look at this. Sometimes, especially in the agri business, a lot of times people struggle with marketing to get buyers and all that. So do you also struggle with marketing and stuff? Uh, actually, uh for marketing, this is it's not really a problem. The issue here is that uh, I was unfortunate, and then uh, 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 we have customers who come for the DX. So um, in the way when there's uh, there's there's a lot of demand, you're able to do supply, but not really. You're not able to supply that much. But I can say that you should have your customers. When you have your customers, it makes the work easier. In case where you don't have customers, uh, that is where you, you, you suffer small. But that one is just for a short time. As time goes on, you get people to, to, to come and buy. So let's say starting a young person wants to start this particular business. What are some of the advice that you can give? Uh, oh, okay. I think if you want to start this business, uh, I said earlier, you should be determined. You should be ready for work. It's not that easy. You have to devote your time and then your resources, that is money. Yeah, getting the structure alone is another thing altogether. And then the, you also have to what, learn from other what, farmers, at least where so you can have some kind of experience before you can start. Because it, it's, you, you see the job to be so good, but when you get into it, there are a lot of hitches in it. And if you are not well experienced, uh, you, you will suffer. So the best thing is I have to seek for advice and then the, you go to other farmers for, for for you to be taught huh, so that you have some fair idea or knowledge about the job before you you, you, you embank or you enter into it I think as, I as i came here I've, I've seen a lot of, of compartment yeah i don't know if you yeah, you have specific you know cages for specific you know uh, specific animals or stuff i don't know why why is it that you have different different cages here oh okay uh we we formerly we used to run the deep litter system and we talk of the deep litter system this time around you, is, is, you see the animals on the floor with uh, sawdust you see them moving to and through and all that they have they are able to experience their own normal life though they have in house yes and then currently we have now upgraded to the battery cage system so as i'm speaking to you now we have the deep litter and the battery cage now the rest of the cages you see around them they are um cages that we, we, we manufactured in ghana here we did it for ourselves and then normally we we we, we, we dispose best or better we put best into it when you're about to, or to sell them for um christmas uh, festivities and all other occasions yes and sometimes to um we do some kind of uh, 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 um brooding and then selling so 
when the best are of each we just push them there and then we sell it to the customers around so um, let's come to food is it uh, is it expensive or how do you get your food is it, is, do you get your food from the local market uh, the feed uh, formerly we, we, we okay we go for this already prepared um, feed from some companies like gaffa yeah gaffa i think data uh, 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 poultry farmers association yes we, when we started we we, we we go to them for feed and along the line things were not that good uh, because of the crisis in maize and then the wheat ground and all that so things went down and then we also zoomed to our own uh, preparing of our own feed so i think that one too is, is also good when you prepare yeah you're able to save much but then we have form formula we use in preparing the feed and that one too should be very well um, 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 addressed with it yes because the food that the animals that they feed it, it can be um, uh, uh, injurious to the animals if you you are not able to prepare it well oh, okay so, so that means that you don't feed in it you just don't feed anything to them. Yes, yes. They have, they have, they are, they are, they are, they are uh, uh, concentrate. They take what they take. That will help them. Play. Yes, we are, we are running a, a, a commercial or something. So, specifically for the eggs. So you should know that you should give them something that will help them lay. So that at least you can also sell it out so, to so get that, your money. That means that when you feed them with, a, uh, when you feed them with a good feed, the outcome of the egg is also good. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. When when you feed them with something which is uh, which their body can take. Yes, you end up um, infesting them with diseases and all that. Their production will be very uh, uh, low, and if you don't take a, you, you the farmer, you can you can be down because it's the eggs that you use in in, in expanding your business. So come to let, let's go straight into the disease aspect. Of late, I, I I heard there are some kind of diseases affecting some farmers and stuff. Uh, oh yeah. Do you actually? Uh, really, in this farm, Bilmano Farms, uh, I can say that I can confidently uh, 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 say that we normally go through this um, uh, uh, fumigation processes here. I think every three days we spray around and then we make sure that uh, this external parasites and things are being controlled. And then I think when you are coming into the, the farm, there is a foot deep for you to dip your, your foot into it. Probably you are coming from outside. And then you could also be coming from other farms, especially the wholesalers and the retailers. They troop in all in the aim of buying eggs. And they move from farm to farm. So whenever they are coming into the farm, we, we advise them to dip their foot in the uh, uh, foot dip. Yes, the foot dip is made up of, um, uh, uh, it's just a disinfectant. Every morning the place is washed and then we change the water for, the, uh, for clients who come in to, to, to buy eggs. So when you dip your foot into it, it's believed that these um, bacterials and uh, uh, viruses that uh, uh, come into contact with, with, with the clients as they come in are being controlled. So that is what I think recently uh, there was a news on TV3 that uh, the, the bed avians and yeah. flu is, is still in. Yes, we heard that, but I think we are very cautious about that. So when it happens like that, we just try and then prevent some. Um, uh, um, we restrict some movements so we don't even allow members uh, uh, other colleague farmers to move from their farms to our place and all that we try to restrict it and i think that's what we do um to save us so i i, I can yeah. see that so we've that, never that, experienced that means some... that this work is not a joke at all it's not a joke it's 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 i always tell my people that running a poultry business is like you working in a hospital yeah. because you are dealing with lives the least mistake can affect the deaths the least mistake can affect human beings in the hospital so you have to be very tactical when you are operating you should be on guard anything at all can happen you can lose the best in no time so whenever you are doing something you have to take safety precautions so it's more like you working in the hospital so the poultry game so, is not a small so game. Do, you, do you have any special breed of birds uh, I think we have two, the brown and the, the, the bovine and that of the white legon, that is what we have. So we'll go around and go and check those. Uh, these are technical stuff that I don't really know about. Let's go into um, support. Do you get support from the assembly or the ministry of fabric or any other institution? Uh, for support, uh, not really. I, I, I have never had support like that. But then I can say um, I'm... Um, we have our boss. Our boss is in the room, but then he does his, 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 his um, how do you call it, a, a, a super proprietorship something. So what we, he does is that he found it with, with his money, his capital. 
and then that is it. So the support yeah. I'm talking about is not really about money, but in terms of let's say veterinary coming in every month yeah. from the veterinary. Okay, service I stuff. think uh, for the veterinary aspect, hmm, it has really been my challenge, uh, and I, I want to use this opportunity to to um, advise that the youths should should go into agriculture, especially the veterinary side. They are, they, are, they are not many, they are not many, they hardly come around. You even not see them until maybe uh, you invite them to the farm and even to get them is very difficult. Yes, I think if they, the veterinary officers come around to visit farm, farm farms and then give, uh, give them new ways of farming and some new tech, I think it will help. But they are, they are few and they hardly come on field to, to check on us. Unless maybe uh, uh, when there is... Um, maybe the upcoming um, uh, farmers day awards and that is where sometimes you might see them and then sometimes you the agric officers come around to to also supervise our work we, we do here they check our records and then other structures and then if there's some advices they, 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 they give us and then that's all so they do come around but not often so i would use this opportunity to say that they should come more they should come more visit the farmers and know our plight so that they can also give us some support to make this business a, 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 a good one okay so before we go on a break i would, I would like to also i have noticed something do you actually give these beds some special water or just any ordinary tap water that you use them? uh yes it's, it's tap water yes it is well filtered, filtered that is what we give to them not in it so you have water. to also filter the water before you give oh yes them. already the, what we take at our various homes that's what we give to them but sometimes when it comes to um, vaccinations, yes, especially for for the, the, the when you take the day old chicks like that, 16 weeks and then they are ready, um, 16, 18, they are, well, they are ready to lay and all that. So uh, normally what we've been advised by the, 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 the veterinary officers is that they sometimes say that if you want to vaccinate them, probably want to give a vaccine, you should use a water, a, a water that has been uh, overnight one. Good. Yes not the, the filtered one sometimes when you use it can react with the the, the vaccine because it's believed there's chlorine in yes. it good so chlorine can uh, affect the, the the effectiveness of the vaccine this is the first time i never knew that you have to vaccinate beds oh, yeah, i never yeah. knew that you vaccinate beds yeah. so uh, do the vaccination the vaccination has to do with the diseases right yes how to control the, uh, the, the diseases especially when you take them during the day old, yes, we have some diseases like um, the gumboro. Gumboro is one of the infectious diseases that can kill a lot of bears. But I can't remember when <laughs> I used to be. I used to be in the village. Sometimes when this bird flu stuff happened, the animals die, but we still we still consume them. Oh, we, yes, for the consumption. Um, is it because they are local birds and? Oh, not really. It's because you you are able to cook it and cook it well. That's all. Uh, normally, when you increase the temperature, they are able to what those um, uh, viruses, viruses are being are killed and all that. Yes. So when you cook it well, you are you are liberty to consume it. Yes. Though we have zoonotic diseases, when talk about zoonotic diseases, they are diseases that can be transferred from um, animals to, to, to humans. Oh, okay. Yes. So, uh, but I believe uh, it's all about you cooking it well, and that's how you can take it. So yes. let me know. Do this business pay? Oh, as I said, it, it pays. But you see, um, farming is, is is a game of patience. You just have to be, um, uh, 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 you have to be patient. That's all. You would see the capital, but then you have to consider your expenses and all that. And then it wouldn't come as you see it that you might see money. But then it's bit by bit. And I think it it pays when you do it very well. You are able to make. But when you do it haphazardly, that's where you don't see anything. So, so let me know what are the major challenges that you face here the major challenges you face in this farm um the major challenges in this farm yes as i said um earlier has to do with fumigation and then disinfecting and all that yes the reason is that the, this area is choked with farms the farms are closed to each other so when there is an outbreak and you don't take safety precautions it can spread easily and most poultry um, diseases are uh, airborne and contact that is why most of the times we, 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 we restrict movements in, the, in this game yes so um, some of the uh, problems we, we face is the spread of lies yes sometimes lies can affect your best because the farms are close to each other 
But I thought they were normal or oh when this when your best are affected with lies, they don't lay well. They, they, oh, okay. The production falls. And when the production falls, you see the lies keeps makes them uncomfortable. So instead of them to eat, you see them trying to what uh, 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 make them some comfortable because of the lies. They, they feel so itchy. So they wouldn't eat and then your production also be dropping. So normally it's supposed to be done where there is no noise. And because we have the gas filling station close to us, you see the cars and their horns. Sometimes the, then the cutter boys, when they they, 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 they they blow their horn like that, it disturbs the best. Mm, okay. And then I can also say that formerly this place was uh, uh, not uh, 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 made for other jobs like uh, um, Mechanic. mechanics. And all, but now they, they, they are now intruding into the agricultural land. This is an agricultural land. But now we are people trying to settle around this place and it is really disturbing us. Just behind us we have the crop farmers. We have an irrigational system from that that is the Ashaman Lebanon. That is where they, they get the water supply to water their crops and all that. So we are close to the agricultural site. But it's just as if the the, 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 the uh, intents or better to the citizens um are, are in the community are trying to, to encroach there. or to come to the farm farming area which is not really helping us okay okay so i think it's time now for us to go around and go and check what they have in this farm so stay tuned now with the little education we had previously we are now here to um, look at the pens yes we have two structures here they are very big now we have the first one here this is one of the pens it's made up of uh, six uh, weeks day old chicks Yes, it was uh, imported. I can see they are active. Now, let's look at the advantages of, of, of the, the, the deep litter system. So this is what we call the deep litter system. Is it the red one? No, this is the system as in okay. Okay. their, their, their um, structure. Now in the deep litter system, I said that the birds, they're able to live their normal life, do their house. But you can see that they are moving freely. They are moving freely to do whatever they want to do. And you can see their feeders, these are the feeders. And then they also have their drinkers. Yes. Which is the red. The red. And so even there is a tube connected. A yes. Water tube. Yes, there's a, a water tube. So they drink from, from, from the trough down there. You can see that some of them are, are drinking. They are close to it and they are drinking. So we have the feeder and then the, the drinkers. So how old are they? Oh they are six weeks old. They are okay. six weeks, yes. This is another pen. Now this is what we call the battery cage system. This time around, the bears, they don't live their normal life. They have been caged. And there are, are three in each cage. So you realize that um, what they are supposed to do is, is two things. They eat and then lay. That's what they are supposed to do. So they are not like the battery, uh, the deep litter system that they can move around and then do whatever they want to do. Now, does that mean that after after these guys mature, they will be migrated to this part. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Yes. Then now, you see, as we are moving on, or better still, we are, we are developing. So this um, deep litter in the tropics, they normally what we, most farmers engage in the deep litter. Why? Because uh, um, to get the battery cage is, is that expensive. So you start somewhere before you get there. So I said earlier on, we started with the deep litter. And by God's grace, we are now running the uh, the, the cage system too. This is a, a, a mini storage tank. We have the um, larger ones up there, but this is just a mini storage tank. Now the water, as at now, we are administering plain water. So we have the water in this tank, and then it runs through the pipes into the base. So you can see that um, they drink from this, as I said earlier on. Now one thing that you have to be observative sometimes these nipple caps or the nipple sometimes can be blocked with the food particles so if you are a farmer you should be observative once a while you have to come around and check 
sometimes they are being blocked. So what you have to do is that you take off the nipple, nipple and then you take the uh, food particles from it and fix it back. Now this is our notice board. Now what uh, we have here, um, it's comprised of the dates and the descriptions. We have medications and then the week. Yes. Now we also have, uh, as I said, daily activities, what we do and then the timing and all that. Now you can see that we have week one and even today is, uh, how do you call it? Today is 8th of um, January 2022. We have cage burst one, cage burst two. Now promethine here is just one of the medications that is used in controlling lice and then dewormer. So uh, in a way it's used in controlling what um, parasites and all that. Now we have previous vaccinations and then the current one. Now today the current vaccination is what we have as a they are taking plain water but i think three days ago they were on please promethine it's 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 one of the um, uh, um tracks we give to them to control the lies and that of the worms now reporting time is 6 a.m for the workers we are we are three here yes and then the uh, closing time is 5 30. now in the morning by 5 a.m to 6 a.m we are supposed to feed them, so we feed during that time. And then the afternoon, we feed them from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Then we come to uh, cleaning of what feeders. It's, it's also a daily activity. Sometimes you have to go in, into the, especially in the cage, um, uh, uh, bears. You have to spread the feed for them so they can eat evenly. So somewhere 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Before we go feeding them in the afternoon, we have to make sure that um, the feed that we place in the feeders in the morning has been uh, fed on. So we go and then spread it for all the best evenly so that they can feed on it so we do that within the hours of three to four then we feed them in the afternoon which is what 4 p.m now from 4 p.m they eat to 9 45 10 o'clock 10 o'clock p.m and then the, we have a, a how do you call it, a timer that um we use in the cage system now this and when it's 10 o'clock this timer or the light switched or it goes off now when it goes off it means that they should break so the best they rest at that time. They rest, or better so we can say that they sleep to um, 4 a.m. 4 a.m. in the morning, the light automatically, it owns for them to eat the remaining of the, uh, the feed and then uh, drink to 6 a.m. when we go and feed them. For that is the next day. Um, as I said, it's not an easy job like that, but you should try. You just have to be determined and you should have the passion. And if you have the passion, you'll be able to do more. So advise the youths out there my brother my sister there's job in ghana do not sit back use your hands do something for yourself yes it is capital intensive but you can start something small with even 100 beds you can start it bit by bit and then as you go on you begin to want to plow your profit into it and expand you need to start on the, on the larger scale start small and i think you'll be able to get there come and join us let us push ghana Come and join us. Let us push Ghana. I think when we, we the youth, we engage in agricultural practices or, or, or business. I think Ghana, a time will come, we'll be able to, uh, to provide for ourselves and we'll start this um, importation and then going for loans and all that. I think uh, uh, we need to, to build our country, Ghana. So come and join us. Let's, let's do this job together. It's a nice job to do. This Bemano Farms uh, and it's located in um, Tema West, that is Kaniwa Jigoju on the stretch of um, um, Ashamine, that is closer to the BBF church. Uh, we are grateful to have you here this afternoon to um, um, visit us in order to know our plight and then our, our activities here. Uh, I want to say that it's good, it's good and we wish you come all the time to, to, to um, help us push our family business ahead. Thank you very much. And then you can locate us or, or um, get us on this number 0241-546388 as Blemano Farms. 0241-546388. In case you need eggs, you need, you need beds for, for, for especially those restaurants and all that, I, I would like you people to come on board so that we can start a business, especially for, for broiler production. I would be honored if you come for us to, to do that business together. And I think 
we can make it there. Thank you very much. And then, uh, I love you all. Bye bye.